What's up, world? It's your girl, T-Fizzle. Okay, so as you guys know, you know, I'm not a Beyonce stan, but I am a fan of Beyonce and I'm a fan of her music. So once again, Queen B is back in the news. And um, what's happening is that if you guys are not aware, three years ago, Matthew Knowles, her father, cheated on her mother, Tina Knowles, and got his jump off pregnant. And this jump off now has a three-year-old son named Nixon. And once again, Alexandra Wright is being a messy chicken head and running to the blogs and running to the magazines. And, you know, she's saying that she's upset because Beyonce has yet to acknowledge her little brother. Beyonce doesn't pay Nixon any mind. Beyonce refuses to meet her or her little brother Nixon. And a lot of people are having a lot of different opinions about this. And um, I wanted to weigh in on the situation. You know... I just feel like, I, I don't know if it was a whole 2012, I just feel like 2012 was the year of the jump-offs. You know, I just feel like a lot of fucking sideline hoes and jump-offs, they've just gotten really besides themselves. You know, back in the day, if you were just the side chick, if you were just the, the, the jump-off, you stayed in your place, you stayed in your lane. You didn't have, you didn't catch main chick feelings. But it seems like a lot of these girls don't, a lot of these women don't know how to stay in their fucking place. You know, they want reality shows. They want to write tell-all books. They want money. It's just ridiculous. I think this lady, Alexandra Wright, needs to sit her ass First down. First of all, you're the jump off. Beyonce does not have to meet with you or her so-called little brother. You chose to get pregnant by a man who was married, who was in a relationship. Now, I'm not making excuses for Matthew because he's just as trifling for cheating on his wife. I blame both of them. But I always find it funny that women can find themselves in stupid situations, in adulterous relationships with, with people who are married or who are in a relationship with somebody else, and then all of a sudden they wind up pregnant. You know, if you're going to be creeping with a married man... Why would you not take precautions to not get pregnant in the first place? But see, she's the type of person where I feel like she got pregnant on purpose. She got pregnant thinking that somehow she was going to become some type of celebrity or that Beyonce would acknowledge her and her and Beyonce would be taking trips to Paris and, you know, drinking wine and performing at the Super Bowl together. I think this bitch is delusional as hell. You know, and another thing I don't like about her is that she's come out and she's dissed Beyonce several times to the media. She even said that when she was pregnant, Matthew Knowles supposedly said that if she was going to keep the baby, that they needed to pretend that Beyonce was the one who had the baby. That she wanted them to act like Beyonce was the one who got pregnant and that her little brother was her son. I'm not buying that story for one minute. You know, I just think it's silly. And then she also said to the she also said to the magazine that her and Matthew were together for um, 18 months. He wined and dined her. He wanted to be with her. And then when she got pregnant at four months pregnant, he decided to leave her. He said he couldn't handle this. You know, when you get with somebody who's married, who's cheating on their significant other, what makes you think that they won't leave you at the drop of a dime? You know, bitches kill me with this shit. And then she has the audacity to bring in illegitimate child into the world you know and I don't blame this little boy it's not this little boy's fault that his mom's a whore and his father is just as trifling but I just think it's crazy that you're a 40 year old woman you know what it takes to get pregnant and not get pregnant you get pregnant and you think that Beyonce owes you something Beyonce needs to acknowledge your child Beyonce doesn't have to do shit first of all Alexander was the driving force in why Tina and Matthew Knowles decided to get a divorce they may have had problems in their marriage long before she came but she was the final nail in the coffin so every day Beyonce is reminded that your son is the reason why her parents are no longer together after 31 years. And I also find it funny that whenever she goes to talk to the blogs of the magazine, she's always down in Beyonce. Last time I checked, Matthew Knowles has two daughters. She never seems to bring up Solange. It's like she doesn't care if Solange acknowledges her baby because Solange is not as popular as Beyonce. It only matters that Beyonce acknowledges baby. I feel like Beyonce doesn't owe her or that illegitimate child anything. That's her little brother, but that's where it all ends. You know, this is sad because I know a lot of people um, growing up who were in that situation. One of my, you know, acquaintances, she was an illegitimate child. Her mom was a jump off. Her mom was creeping with her best friend's man and she got pregnant. And her and her brother are literally four weeks apart. You know, so they always treated her bad. Um, her brother's side of the family always treated her bad because she was the illegitimate child. You know, and that was her mother's fault. And it's sad because even with all that, it's almost like the cycle repeats itself. She got pregnant and had a baby by a married man, and now she's upset because that married man doesn't really acknowledge the child, and their child is a secret. 
But I'm like, you're a grown woman. You're not 15. You're not 16. You're in your 30s. You knew what it took to get pregnant. You chose to bring an illegitimate child into the world. And now you're mad because a man treats the child like a secret. Those are the choices you make, you know, and we have to take responsibility for our choices. And I just think it's just crazy. And I think that as adults, we need to be more mindful of that because the people who suffer are the children. It's not fair for a child to not be able to freely have their mother and father in their life. child didn't choose to come into this world, but if you choose to bring a child into the world and into a trifling situation, be prepared for the consequences. Everybody in the family is not going to welcome an illegitimate child with open arms. You know, so I don't understand why she's mad at Beyonce for not acknowledging her half-brother. Beyonce doesn't owe the little boy anything, nor does Beyonce owe her anything. Her, The only person who owes her anything is Matthew Knowles. I'm just not feeling the story. I say kudos to Beyonce for not even acknowledging this lady. If she wants to in the future acknowledge her little brother and form a relationship with, with him, then that's Beyonce's business. But for the lady to constantly go to the media and speak ill of her and say that she's wrong for not acknowledging the child is complete bullshit. You know, why should they acknowledge you when you ruined their, their mother and father's marriage, basically? You know, so I just think the whole situation is just comical. These damn jump off sideline bitches and hood rats have really gotten besides themselves. It's 2013 and the fuckery has already started. This damn sideline wants Beyonce to acknowledge her and her child. I just find the whole situation comical. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Do you think Beyonce is in the wrong for not, you know, embracing her with open arms and not embracing her little brother with open arms? Or do you feel like it's Beyonce's choice if she chooses to acknowledge this illegitimate child or not? You know, so I just find the whole situation just kind of crazy that she would even put it out there instead of keeping it between themselves. Go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. All right. This is...